Hello, this is Falterfire. So this is my quest run. Here is how, so we are on 7110, which is still a beta patch, but it is one, it's the next one after the previous video, uh, which I think we have art on a few more cards maybe. Uh, the big thing change for us here is that Shielded Strike is now two mana, three x two damage and three x two shield, which is uh, quite a bit better for us uh, given how things have played out. Um, Trying to think what other change, if there are any other cards that have changed that we actually have access to. Let me check the notes. Um, Mindset, but that's a Rue card. Oh, Heroic Vigor has changed. That's it. Uh, so, Toughness. So it no longer heals by default. It only heals if you make a Toughness. But Mightiness now gives Mighty and Adept, but only two ranks of each. So, that's interesting. Uh, Pulling Focus and Statistic Leave change. Oh, Iron Cloud Strike changed. Uh, and Iron Cloud Strike is now what Shield Strike was on the previous patch. So... I think this is bad. I'm not a fan of it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so, anyway, this video, our goal is to defeat the Shadowbone Natha. And Shadowbone Natha is a special quest boss that shows up in part one of the Fetid Smoke quest. And you're not supposed to fight it at full health. You're supposed to run from it, and I haven't seen the full event because I just fought it. Um, and it was a lot weaker the first time I fought it. Uh, I have fought it, I think, at close to this current difficulty with my main account, with my main account on the phone, uh, but it was still using like all the card unlocks, all the forge unlocks, which meant that I had extra max health, extra all the cards that I could need, all of that, uh, which we don't have, obviously. So we're going to see if a low-level Inna can take down this beast. If not, I am probably going to restart the, the uh, fight. Uh, and instead of doing the whole quest over again, I'm just going to correctly avoid uh, actually fighting at full health. And then I will have a later video uh, where I make additional attempts to to beat it. I do want to beat Shadowbone Natha uh, from full health. Uh, I just am not sure this is going to be that video. So, anyway, let's get into things. Fetid smoke. The strange smoke permeating the ether plains is incredibly worrying. We've never seen anything like it before. We're sending you in with this special device to gather more information about that smoke. Please be careful. Rewards. Unlock step three. Card rewards. Wave of corruption and fetid fate. All right, so... We're going to be using Inna for this, 100%. The question is if we want to do quick play. So the advantage of doing quick play is that if we do quick play, we get access to, um, we get a whole lot more upgrades, which could be important. The downside to quick play is that we don't get control over the starting deck. We don't get control over the card pool. However, we have relatively few total cards unlocked uh because like we just aren't opening any packs as part of the conditions for this so i'm not sure if that matters so i think we are going to do quick play i don't think we are going to do draft i think Inna's uh, default quick play deck is pretty good so i'm happy to use that and then uh we are locked in doing depth two because it is of course a um quest run let's see if we can buy any more forge upgrades before we get started because i am at level um or i am at 3,000 gold. Um, hmm. I think having extra rest supplies and having a little more health could be useful. I do kind of wish that I had done enough for the depth two run just so we would have this level four so we'd have the extra 10% on tough and mostly the tough. But we are going to quick play. We're going to get going. And yeah, we are going to... Oh, interesting. So we have to go to Forest. We cannot go to Battered Ramparts for this. Uh, although we did unlock Battered Ramparts in the previous one. For this specific quest, you have to go through the Forest. Uh, oh, right, because there is, there's a specific fight here. Um, so we get to choose two cards. Um, I think it's just going to be Electrocute. I don't think we're going to... don't know that we're going to keep it, but we'll take it. Um, I like the Heroic Vigor, I think. It gives us an extra tough source, uh, which is nice. I don't think I like the Electrocute here. 
Impro Strike is okay. I don't think we can afford to cut the shield to strike. I think we're going to need that shield for now. I think we're going to cut the Impro Strike. I maybe should have gone draft thinking about it because we're going to want a bunch of haunted memories. Because we're going to want to be able to, to apply a bunch of curse. Okay. So we have to get here because that was one of our event nodes. We're going to start here and see if we can get... Uh, powerful stacking would also be decently useful. All right, we are going to upgrade the focus. Can pop off one of your powerful. It's unfortunate that they're both doing this on turn two. I guess I may as well. Do, I, was, I was planning to save that for next turn, but I am not a level 10 Inno, so I cannot save things for next turn. She's extra tough. Uh, we really just would like to save to um, be tough. As far as we are guaranteed to explode here, nothing we can do about that. Alright. Let's see. What's that? It's going to just outright kill you when we do that, so we'll go ahead and get that done. Maybe we'll get Mightiness and Adept. We already have plenty of Adept, but... No point in playing that uh, Stone Skin Bomb I shouldn't have bothered, but... Yeah, Cleanse is the main thing I'm worried about here, because we don't have... a ton of access to Cleanse. Um, right now, basically, I am warring between... Wanting, we've already like gotten started and wanting to... Um, and we've got Scarlet Incantation. I really wanted that, so we'll probably just keep going. Right, we have to. I was like, I want to go here, but I can't because we do have to go through here. So the one problem with trying to use Curse to defeat uh, this jerk is that it is... Um, hmm, all right. um, I want to do this. But it costs me all my mana and will only get me one detonation. I think it's still fine. But I probably should have, The curse is probably better. Also, with like a growth source. Um, I don't think Millet Reverie is unlocked by default anymore. So that's not an option. Here's our heavy stand. Alright. Really hoping we were gonna find Really, the actual last card of the deck. That's really frustrating. Really, really hoping that we were going to get um, that one thing this turn. There's no point playing those. Just really hoping we were going to get this this turn, last turn, so we could have gotten off. Because now it's in the discard pile, so we have to redraw before we can get it again. But we got there. Okay, Arcane, or Meditate. I like both of these a lot. I think we'll take the Meditate because I do want that growth source, although that could be wrong. Um, i trying to think if there's anything we want to remove here. I may cut the Shielded Strike. It does kind of use up our Shock, which I don't love. But we don't have a ton of other Shield right now. Can just take the Max Mana. Just take the, uh, just take the Max Mana. Yeah, I don't think I want to remove anything yet. All right, we will sharpen our weapons. I'm gonna go here, because we have to. Right, and we are going to do this and get some powerful out. All right, I was just 
Try and figure out why do we have uh, that much power pulse? And the answer is because uh, we got that temporary bonus. Gonna have to copy that. Because I do really want to get uh, this heavy standout. Even though I probably should just infuse. <laughs> kind of. The thing with playing in is that like, my head is always in playing the long game, even when uh, that's not really what we need to do. Yeah, I think this is actually the most efficient way for us to play this out, even though it... Oh, we had two shocks, so we are actually still good. There's the... All right. Fortunately, we did find this, which means... That's two detonations, which takes away all of the... Um, all of the Mighty. Or all of the Frenzy, which is good. And then we can get... Yeah, we'll get more shield, because we are about to get shocked. Although, we are about to win as well, so... Kill it. So we really want to see an arcane silence. Thank you. Um, that's pretty okay. That'll help us a little bit with our shield problems. Gonna upgrade the Scarlet Incantation. Going to upgrade the Meditate. Goes to six growth, which I like a lot. Um, we may not need the Heroic Vigor actually. Thinking about it. Although I like having two ways to get the uh, tough going. We're going to upgrade a Deft Focus for now. And I think we are going to cut the Shielded Strike. Alright, so... Pull an Enchanted Rag from your bag to protect yourself. So, oh, I should have been reading... I'm going to actually... I forget, this is a, a quest thing and I'm trying to read those. So we are going to main menu and we are going to actually read the, uh, the quest event. Sorry about that. Um... Keeping your detector at hand, you follow the signal until you see a faint trail of the odd smoke ahead of you. Continue. You keep following the trail of smoke. Suddenly, you find yourself submerged in the smoke. It stings your eyes and throat, and you can feel a strange tug in the back of your mind. So we could breathe in the smoke deeply. Sounds like a bad idea. Keep going and try to ignore the smoke, which would lose us five health. Or we could pull an enchanted rag from our bag to protect ourselves from the smoke because we are in a... We're going to do that. Eventually, you come upon a clearing in the forest. Inside, you find a group of thornberries struggling in the smoke. You look around, trying to see what they could be fighting, before realizing that they are fighting the smoke itself. The smoke is trying to corrupt the berries, transforming them into shadowy versions of themselves. We could wait and see what happens, taking regular readings with your detector, or we could rush in to help the thornberries. And, you know, I, I, we've, we've got to help them, right? Like, God help the dead. One day, as we know, is a thornberry, so have to help him. You run to help the thornberries, trying your best to disperse the smoke. One of the berries has been fully corrupted and attacks you. Defend yourself. Alright, so this is a Shadowberry. They are a new enemy in the new patch. Um, and they are friendly and love hugs. I think that's accurate. Uh, trying to think what our best bet is for hitting zero mana. Go ahead and get extra tough. And I think between these two, we'd rather just have the mana. So we are going to have to deal with uh, two of these dorks. Let's... Hmm. So I can hit either of them, is the thing. I'm also trying to figure out, like, I want to do this. Oh, that's, that's what I'll do. I will... Let's upgrade, I think, the focus, actually. Let's blow up. That one's weak enough that I think we just want to hit it. Let's... Yeah, I think we just keep on that one. Okay, that's actually very good. Because that's also going to get us... Um, extra damage on these detonations. So that one's dead. You're almost dead. Um, and then we're just going to do this, which will... Hey, that will actually kill you. Victory. 
All right, the corrupted thornberries are dead. Unfortunately, we don't get any thornberry carts for this, or uh, shadberry carts for this. So the corrupted thornberries are dead, and the ones you've saved have long since fled the clearing. You use your detector to take some readings of the environment and the remains of the corrupted thornberries. While doing so, you find a sword made of grass on the ground. Do the thornberries drop it or leave it on purpose as a gift? You grab it as you ponder the question. All right. So this is grass blade. You normally get it from the. Uh, it's not actually new for this quest. You normally would get it from the Dragonfly Rider event in Area 2 if you get the version of the event where uh, you end up fighting for Arcane Wisps. So it's going to give extra poison to our strike hits, extra strike damage, extra crit chance, uh, which is not going to do much for us, but it is what it is. Oh, but this doesn't give uh, Shadow Record. I'm actually going to report that as a bug. All right. So uh, none of this is super exciting, although I guess Cleaving Strike is probably fine. Um, we will somewhat regularly be able to hit both parts of it. Uh, I think we're going here because this could give us, I forget, this also has a cleanse, which would be very, very nice if we could pick that up. And also a chance of getting uh, Arcane Aegis, which I also don't hate. I'm trying to think. Um, so we have a total of nine mana available to us. So... With the adept, We're gonna go pop and pop, and pop, and pop, and then I think we're just gonna go donk donk. We are unfortunately going to lose a little bit of health here, but it could be a lot worse. Um, that's gonna give us tough, which is nice. Although, let's see. I think if we just want to go get this heavy stand out. I think we do. And then... Unfortunately, this isn't just a free heal anymore. Right. So... Let's pop you out of existence. Let's pop you mostly out of existence. All right, that's actually perfect. Because that will, um, yeah, oh, make our day a lot better. We're down a little bit of health, but could be a whole lot worse. Let's see what that gets us. Um, can do that. Trip that for free. Uh, Cleaving Strike is actually perfect here because that will be lethal to everything. I should have gotten the two more healing I could have gotten there, but all right, Death Focus is fine. A scroll of Recall is great. And check and make sure. Um, can we hit zero mana efficiently? Yes. I think we are going to do this instead of that. Um, let's pop you twice. Uh, Plated to one this turn is fine, I guess. And then, all right, cool. I was hoping to see that. Because now we get tough. And we'll put curse on you. So we aren't going to explode. We aren't going to take any actual damage. So glad that these got nerfed from where they were at. Originally, where they were, like, a lot more powerful output. And, like, they gave off uh, Arcane Leak, which was just absurd. All right, we're actually going to do that first. Right, we have actually the full hit on that, which is amazing. Let's get that. Uh, let's... That's gonna... Clean things up. 
This claim strike is actually pretty good. Uh, hmm, I'm torn between taking this and rerolling to try and get the cleanse. I kind of like having two of these. It's very good at stripping off debuffs. Or stripping off buffs, which we're going to want here. Um, could get Adept out of this, but I think we'd rather have Tough. Could just Arcane Silence twice. Think I like that. Especially because that's just gonna swipe through so much of their um, whatever. Uh, let's see. We take a detonation here. That's fine. We are technically only on depth two, so enemies are weaker than they would be on depth three. Alright. That's only gonna be one detonation, but we only need one detonation. Or hmm. So the problem is if I hobble and exactly um Scarlet Incantation comes up, we feel really bad. This is gonna be six plus six, which is yeah, that is gonna be enough to kill. So we're just gonna get this kill. Which is also gonna give us a powerful. first. Um, hmm. Or do we want to get this vulnerable out? Will the vulnerable make a difference even? I don't think so. I think we're still only getting one detonation either way. So let's pop you. We should pop that one because we can get rid of the mighty on it. Draw a card. A little bit unfortunate turn, but could be a lot worse. All right, good. That was adapted and not more mighty. It felt kind of silly if mighty came out. Okay. All right, so that'll kill the first one and the back one. Which I think that has to be our play. I have full health, which is pretty good. Would like a curse of the forest, but I don't think I can quite justify it. I don't think we can afford it. So we're gonna take the mana eruption. Unless I reroll, I take curse of the forest, and I guess I'm just not sure because the thing cleanses itself. We're not gonna be able to stack enough curse on it for it to be relevant. I think so. I think we're gonna take the mana. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're just gonna discard that. We're absolutely gonna upgrade the other scarlet incantation, and we need to upgrade probably a focus here. And then, I don't think we need the Infuse. I think we have enough other Arcane. And then we are going here, and that's the big fight we have to be prepared for. So, unfortunately, not a lot of really useful Elites for us here. Um, could get Command Lightning here, which could be useful. So that is going to be two detonations. Let's upgrade the heavy stand, I think. All right. It's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we get that, but we can't do anything with those. I need to upgrade the uh, cleansing. Let's get more tough. So 
we are going to be hit by some arcane link, but fortunately only the one, which means that if we can get either of our... All right, that'll actually still help, and that'll actually still kill. Okay, I would take, I think, either of these. Yeah, I'll take the Mystic Ritual. It's expensive. Um, I still think it's good. I guess in my head I was going to be getting more growth because I was I, I didn't think about the fact that... Um, actually, I think we want this adept here. Uh -huh. God, I want to get this off, uh, but there's no way for me to get... Because, like, I can get the tough, but I can't get it until after I have done stuff. Um, that may still be worth playing. Yeah, it is. I'm going to do that. That's going to blow us up, which I don't want to do. There we go. Or just dead. Uh, I don't hate having a gathering bolt. Okay. Uh, don't care about the Natha. Don't care about those cards. Take an upgrade. Put it on. We are going to need to upgrade Arcane Silence. I think we want to upgrade Meditate first. No, we're going to upgrade Arcane Silence because there is no chance that we choose not to upgrade Arcane Silence, I think. I think we do that. I should have considered taking the, the starting quarter as the damage taken by attacks minus two. Because uh, that could be useful to us in this upcoming fight. Okay, I could copy that. Question whether I want to copy again. I think the answer to that is no. Okay. Cool. I was really hoping to find some way to um, use that. Some way to hit zero mana. I could copy it again. I could copy this. That I don't hate. Nah, I don't think I love it either. Okay. I can do this twice. Hmm. Just trying to think through how this is going to work out. out. Is not going to apply. Oh, it doesn't doesn't preview the poison, which is a little unfortunate. That'll be enough. All right. And it gets an upgrade. Oh, we can get mind seed here. That's actually. I was thinking that we weren't going to get a chance to get growth, but we can because that mind speed, which is great. Tempted to upgrade that. I do love getting this upgrade here, though. That's very good. Also, the heavy stand is pretty, plus is pretty good. Death focus plus is always great. Uh, we have yeah one death focus plus already. If you send plus, that's a lot of extra sturdy, a lot of extra tough. That could be very useful, very valuable. I think we're going to do it. All right. We do have to deal with this lightning, but I think that should be manageable, all things considered. All right. Seeing how we get to zero. It does have to evolve playing this, unfortunately, without any buffs. Oh, right. And it's random target. Um. Uh -huh. 
them. Copy that, because I should have done that in a different order. That's fine. Although I am now in the position where, uh, because these things are so close to death, I can't... Oh, that's just going to kill them. That's going to make it hard to get uh, value out of Scarlet Incantation. Could just copy Scarlet Incantation. And then... Yeah, okay, it's kind of for that. So hoping to get mana, I guess. Should have just played out the cleansing. Um, that's good though. That means that we only need one more. Um, yeah, we only need a Scarlet Incantation in order to win. Um, we're gonna play this. All right, so hoping to get. Uh, is that lethal? That's lethal. All right, which means I'm trying to get bandages out. No such luck. So we end up down 7 health. That's manageable. Command Lightning is good. Uh, it's a lot weaker than it used to be, but it's still very good. Um, I think that's still the one we want. And yeah, it is now only 10, but that's it now it does still create upgrade lightning call plus. Um, I think we still upgrade it. And we're going to use that hopefully to help us get some amount of damage out against that one jerk. A plan is starting to form. Hmm. Bit awkward in terms of how this mana shakes out. get mighty out here. It's only gonna get us actually one shock. Still decent amount of damage. Alright, that's an annoying amount of damage. I think I have to copy mana here. Pop. And pop. So that's going to force a shuffle, of course. But it is also going to get us, like, yeah, two detonations. Donk, donk. Should make a good time on this fight, although this fight's obviously so much less health than the other one. Would love another cleanse after this fight if we can get it. Because um, that is the thing that worries me about the fight that we're about to, the, the actual quest fight. Uh, the thing that I think is our biggest realistic way that we actually lose it is... You're going to heal, but less than you were trying to. Um, overcharge means we are going to get shocked, there's nothing we can do about it. And that is going to kill you. Goodbye. Alright. I think we reroll here. I think it's really important that we try and find a cleanse. I think I'm willing to, yeah, I'm willing to spend all my rerolls here. Um, that's not bad. Does it like give us one turn of safety? But it's only one turn of safety. Let me take the ingenuity. Don't take that. Don't take that. Gonna upgrade. Might be there's just the death focuses. Or the uh, the hobble to get the extra turn of week, I think. And one of the 
deft focuses. And then I think we remove... Hmm. I like the Mystic Ritual. It is expensive. I don't know if we can... Can we play Mystic Ritual right now? I think so. We could... I think we cut one of the improvises. Mm, that is potentially a way to get cleanse. I still think it's... I still think improvise... Uh, it could be the Mana Shield. Mana Shield is kind of our weakest mana card. We have a lot of mana cards. I think we got the Mana Shield. And we hope that we don't regret it. All right. We're going to hope that being down... We're going to assume that, like... Eight health is not going to be the make or break difference. Um, and we're going to try this. Following the detector brings you to a large blackened field. You can see a huge cloud with the fetid smoke in the distance. Continue. As you start toward the cloud, you feel a crunch under your boot. Upon closer inspection, you can see that the field is filled with blackened bones. Whatever happened here consumed everything down to the bones. Um, and it was all bad. It was bad at the bone. B -b 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 bad Let's try and scavenge anything useful. 40 energy. Your artifact gathers energy from the magic of this place, but you cannot find anything else useful. It's as if anything living was completely scourged from the area. Continue. You keep walking toward the cloud, taking frequent readings with your detector. You should have collected enough for the guild. S suddenly, that's a, that's a typo. Give me a second. All right. Um, suddenly, you, find, you hear a faint sound as the large cloud stirs slightly. You carefully advance toward it, only to see it start to squirm. Continue carefully. What you took for a cloud was, in fact, a gigantic Natha, corrupted and enhanced by the smoke. It's the largest creature you've ever seen, and it's lunging towards you. You stand no chance against it as it is. You should flee. Our options are sprint away, definitely avoiding the bones cluttering the ground. Condition, 10 skill cards. Or we can sprint away. Or we can choose the no cowards option. So, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, the plan is I'm going to take the no cowards option. Uh, and then if I lose fair and square, I'm going to cheat and restart and just do this again and go through the event and just actually take this option. Because uh, this thing has 4,800 health. I absolutely do not know if, we can, if we're going to be able to pull this one off. But gosh dang it. We got to try. Um. So that's going to heal us back to full. Okay, we're going to copy focus at least once. So this is a bit of an unfortunate way for those numbers to shake out. So I guess the question is, do we want to Scarlet Incantation twice here? And I think the answer is yes, even though that means we're not going to be applying weak. Um, just because... That's full, full sentence, just because. That gets us to a pretty substantial amount of um, of stuff. A pretty substantial amount of powerful, which is going to help us a lot. We get all of the hits on this. Playing all the hits. Um, getting that. Tough is more important. And we are absolutely going to get that shock out so that we can uh, command lightning this turn for maximum value, hopefully. All right. Um. I think it's cleansing this turn, so that's not going to do anything for us. Uh, I don't think the Dark Stone is worthwhile right now. Just because I didn't think we were going to be able to afford it. Yeah, yeah, it would have cleansed off the curse. So, I could add it back. Um...
Guess we can apply Frail. Oh, right, that uses up the shock. I should I wasn't thinking about that. Yes, yeah, so there's the poison, or there's the curse, which is unfortunate. Right, there is a mana card left in the draw pile. Let's go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, we no longer have any... Um, any skills in our hand? But of all the things that like we could have gotten to draw for this turn, uh, to, to like not be able to loop immediately, uh, Mystic Ritual is a pretty good one, just because it is uh, obviously a card that is a sometimes food, as Cookie Monster would say. All right, so that's going to double cleanse us, which is nice going to get. Actually very happy to see these mana selves. Uh, we still have Adept, so we're good on that front. We do not have Mighty, so I think we're going to get that. have perfectly enough mana to do everything we would want to do this turn. Alright, so we've got a cleanse again. Oh no, there's, yeah, yeah, and just double cleanses. Which, manageable. This is not going to force a shuffle. And then we will just pitch those two. And slam and slam. Yeah, this fight isn't actually that bad. Because I don't think it has a phase... I say it's not that bad. I don't think it has a phase change. And as long as it doesn't have like a phase change where it's going to just like spike in difficulty. We are in good shape. I think it makes sense to pitch those this turn because we don't want to explode. And we have plenty of shock. Get it, we got pretty lucky so far on these um, whatever. But yeah, you can see like we're getting out a couple hundred damage every time we play with Command Lightning, which is very useful. All right, that's a lot of curse that it has just decided to put on us. Just upgrade the last card we can. We are also getting a lot of mileage out of um, Protective Crystal. Alright, and it is attacks are scaling up, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, although so far it is not unmanageable. do that. I want to do that before I gave it, uh, before I drew, because I wanted to be able to draw back into. Although I should have, uh, all right, we're going to do that. All right. We can afford to pay for these. We don't have a ton of extra health, or a ton of healing, but we have some. So. Fortunately, it doesn't ever get opportunist, so. So it's about to just 
do the thing where it hits us with a bajillion, uh, whatchamacallit, again? Uh, I could upgrade this, which would give us a little more healing, but I think we're just gonna get more tools. Yeah, because we're gonna get more healing from that anyway. Uses up a shock, but it applies so much poison. Yeah, I don't love that that is scaling how much, uh, whatever it gives us. How many shrivels it gives us. Although this does actually line up perfectly where we are going to get this right before we shuffle. So it is now back in our draw pile where we can get it again. <laughs> I want this purity, but we get so much damage out if we pitch if we just pitch it. So I think that's what we have to do. Take a little bit of damage here. All right, that's gonna get rid of most of the rest of our curse. Unfortunately, um, there's a limit to how much we can do defensively because we can't. We don't have any ways to get stack plated or um, the other thing. Should have done that first. Oh, I was thinking about doing that, and I just didn't. So if we discard this, we'll explode when we play this, but we get to draw a bunch of cards, so that's worth it, I think. Um, which of these two is better? This is... 260 damage. That's gotta be better than this. Yeah. And then fight's going well. On ourselves. Bonk, 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 bonk. Detonations out. All right, I believe this is a win. And there's a 50 50 shot that this is just outright lethal. And if it isn't, we have another lightning call to uh, back it up. So, there we go. No, no, no monster cards for the Shadow Bone Natha, unfortunately. But we will take... I mean, it doesn't matter. But gather equipment seems okay. But yeah, nothing matters, obviously, at this point. Uh, we definitely have won this. Uh, there's no way that anything that could possibly show up after this point could be a threat. Thank you. 
Alright, uh, I don't think we need to cut anything. We're, we're good. Alright, you did it! The monster is finally dead, the smoke dispersing in the air around you. You take a moment to catch your breath before moving forward, hoping that the readings you gathered on your detector were worth it. Continue. Alright, still have to do a bunch more fights to get through the run, but... Look. There's... How embarrassing would it be if we lost after, like, perfecting uh, the Natha? It'd just be the most embarrassing ever. Um, just thinking I want to get through, I want to do whatever, but... All right. um, let's tag you. Um, so we're absolutely going to do those. You're gone. You're having a bad day. Draw some cards, because I can. Uh, we can get tough out of that, although I don't know where we're even going to play it. Yeah, I think we're just going to do that. Go ahead and roll your day. Um. Right. I can do this, but I don't know how much I care. If we're gonna do this. We are going to do at least one of those. I may just go all in on. Actually, this might be lethal. Yeah, that's going to be lethal. Get dumpstered, dummy. Eh, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. I don't really need it, but... Um, that makes it better. Alright. Let's see. Everything is super weak. we weren't going to get. Let's see what it's going to do for us. All right, get one of those out usefully. Oh man, I forgot about... That we, I, I already managed to forget that we had that thing. That we have literally no uh, upgrade things to draw. Alright, that's just gonna get us there. Plan Bonk is a go. I love Plan Bonk. Um, it's fine. Didn't even need any rests. <sighs> draw a bunch of cards. Sorry about the badoomp. Uh -huh. So that has to come out. We're going to get this out first, I guess. Going to upgrade that, I guess. Alright, pitching that, and... It's just... There's literally, there's no way we play that, so that can go. You're gone, you're gone. Bye. For reasonable turn one. Uh, not super excited about either of these. Uh, take an improvise. I could rest to just cut cards, but I like the idea of just not bothering to rest. There's no rest for Inna here. Too busy, have to go. No, we, th there is only go. Uh, could copy that. I could also just see what I can find after I scroll for recall. 
which I think is what the plan is. Gonna copy that, although I have absolutely no clue how the mana is working out here. It just seems to be the mana is not quite working out. It's so close, but not quite. Hmm. So I could do this, but it's gonna. No, it won't. We're good. I'm thinking like it might trip um, babies to show up, which I didn't want to do quite yet, but it did not. So Bonk 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 is not going to kill them. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to do that. We're now on fire. We're now taking probably big damage. Uh, not big damage because this is depth one. Or depth two, rather. Pop, pop. Really hoping to see a one mana one. Well, unfortunately, we are going to take a bit of damage here. But uh, we don't lose any recoverable health. So much less than I'd hoped somehow. Right. Very happy to see some mana here. So the nice thing here is this is going to give us shield. Um. And then I think... Just taking this off the board is the play. Oh, we lost our tough. I didn't realize we did that. No. That makes everything better. And we're still taking damage, but... Could be worse. Could be better. We did lose more life. We did lose more health to uh, Ruby than we did to that thing, though. Is it bonk squad time? Is it is it bonk party time? It's bonk party time. No, I need one bonk. I do find it funny. Like we have the one restart, and that restart was just because I forgot that I needed to read the uh, that first event. Um, but we'll take it. That's a victory. Um, that's it. Oh, wait. Let's actually go back. So I'm going to split this video, this, this quest into two parts because I I think I had hinted that that might be the case uh, because obviously these depth two runs take a decent bit longer. So we are now level four. We do now have uh, Adapt Mighty Tub effects plus 10%. And we have finished part one, which but we will turn it in next time because uh, I will read and I will read our next objective. That's going to be it for this video. I will see you next time. Until then, toodles.